welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories by Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and in the studio with me today is Mazda T. Miles, CMM, and she is the Chief Event Strategist with Perfection Events Incorporated. Mazda, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Fran. So glad to be here. Oh, so glad to, that you're here. You know, I love the colors, the gray, the black, the orange. Um, briefly, tell me the story behind the composition because I know a per perfect event <laughs> is all about preparation. Well, it is obviously a beautiful summer day, but the weather mm -hmm. lately has been kind of changing on us and we don't know mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I kind of tried to put something together that would be easy. If it turns cool on me, it'd be fine, but throw a color in there that pops uh, so that my personality comes out even though I'm wearing darker colors. I love it. I love it. You know, in your title, mm -hmm. um, I read CMM. Mm -hmm. And since we're all about conversation, mm -hmm. what does that mean? And, and what did you do to earn those extra initials? Sure. Uh, it means Certified Meeting Manager or Certified in Meeting Management. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the most senior credential obtainable from the Meetings and Event Industries uh, Certifying Association, Meeting Professionals mm -hmm. International. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to go away. It's kind of like the masters of oh, that particular. Okay you know of credentials mm -hmm. in our industry I mm -hmm. went away for a week and did a residency uh, and wow. then I had to come back and we had to write a business plan and do very essay based you know it's all about risk and mm -hmm. uh, marketing versus how many tables can fit in a room per se when you're thinking okay. about events okay it's very strategic Okay, I love it. I love it. And that, how about, how did you come up with your name? Uh, my parents, name? yeah. My, <laughs> oh, I thought you meant my name because it's Mazda. <laughs> okay, right. Well, that too. No, That's but, too. Well, uh, but my business name, Perfection mm -hmm. Events, uh, as I was going through uh, my corporate career, every mm -hmm. time a meeting or event would conclude, an executive would come to me and say, that was perfect. Ooh. And uh, it just never stopped. And at some point along the way, early on mm -hmm. before I opened my business, I said, I think, uh, not that I think that I'm perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think Perfection Events just embodies uh, what I expect and what I always try to deliver. Mm -hmm. I love it. And the fact that you had people telling you that yeah. uh, kind of sealed the deal. Right. So let's go back to your name, Mazda. <laughs> was it about the car? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. Uh, my parents <laughs> were in college and my father was taking a theology course. Mm. And Mazda is an ancient, uh, actually the first monotheistic kind of deity that was mm -hmm. mentioned in ancient manuscripts and mm -hmm. literally is kind of like a goddess of light. And mm -hmm. he, I was the first child, mm -hmm. the first born, and he loved that. And so it's Mazda, it's actually what the car is named after. Mm -hmm. And then my middle name is Tanea, which is Cherokee for daughter of the sun. So we had a light theme going with mm, that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you. I, I am in the presence of a goddess. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank I love you. it. And that is significant. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Well, let's let's talk about your significant moment mm. that led you to being the entrepreneur that you are today. Mm. What was that moment? There have been so many significant mm -hmm. moments uh, mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur. Um, I'm going to choose one, though, that was actually a little bit after I'd started my business, okay. and it okay. shaped uh, the future of my business. Mm. So a little bit after, a little bit, uh, about a year in, uh, mm -hmm. I was sitting there and trying to write new business and develop new business, and I mm -hmm. found myself absolutely overwhelmed and losing opportunities because I could not uh, finish, you know, I couldn't follow up with prospects. I couldn't get my calendaring correct. I was showing up places where I wasn't supposed to be, and I wasn't mm -hmm. uh, going to the places where I was supposed to be, <laughs> uh, and I wasn't, you know, following through. And I was still in that solo Mm -hmm. you know place and that's mm -hmm. a great place for many businesses it doesn't work in our realm mm -hmm. we need a team we need oh hands, absolutely <laughs> right absolutely <laughs> so I was trying to get to that place where I could hire um, mm -hmm. and I took a leap of faith and I hired a virtual assistant and all she did for one to two hours a day was organize my email mm -hmm. and ensure confirm and schedule mm -hmm. my appointments and a few mm -hmm. other administrative duties 
it was not that I couldn't do administrative things. That's actually my background. I'm a strong administrator, mm -hmm. but I found that the best thing for me to be doing was to be writing and developing new business. Mm -hmm. uh, less than a month later, we wrote $90,000 of new business. Wow. Put me in a position to be no. able to hire the support I needed. Sure. And so that significant moment was learning when to fire yourself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And as a business coach, I totally understand. <laughs> it is amazing how many people try to be everything right um, and it's just too too much I often say to folks if you feel like you're wearing too many hats mm -hmm. check yourself because you're not a hat rack how, how just, about it, it that's great, yeah. <laughs> that's great. you are not that's okay right. that's maybe great. you can multitask but you are not a hat rack not a hat rack I'm so. gonna use that one <laughs> <laughs> you're free to use it I will. I'll credit you <laughs> okay good 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 you can tweet that okay I will. <laughs> so wow that is a significant moment your business progressed. Mm -hmm. um, what keeps you passionate about mm -hmm. your business? Because event planning and meeting management um, and living up to your brand, Perfection right. Events right. In Incorporated, mm -hmm. uh, that's got to be stressful yep. and, and a challenge. It can be a little bit. Um, there is a quote by Vince Lombardi that it says that uh, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we'll catch excellence. Yes. And so that's always in my mm -hmm. mind uh, about just catching it. We're chasing it, yes. but we know we'll be excellent as long as we, mm -hmm. you know, chase that carrot. Um, mm -hmm. For me, there are two things that I am really passionate about. That's people and results. Mm -hmm. I am a results You are my woman. Person. You, you are my goddess. Okay, Mazda, you are my goddess. Significant business results. I am, okay, we are so, on the same. So those are my things. And so uh, I try, within my business, I have opportunities in my business as well as in my personal life to be able to help myself and people get the results they want. So I'm all about success. I'm all about everybody winning. Uh, one of my favorite phrases, I don't know if I coined it, is rather than compete, we should complete one another so oh, that, you know, everyone that. That wins. And credit you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so that everyone wins. So I have the opportunity in my business to work with my team and myself mm -hmm. to get to that success and where people are happy and thriving because they see success and they see right. results. And then I have that opportunity. I was recently inducted as the president of the National Association of Women Business Owners, Philadelphia chapter. Right. And so I have, thank you. And so I get to do that for an, an organization of business mm -hmm. owners and women leaders uh, mm -hmm. that are trying to be successful as well right. so when results and people uh, are and are, are, are together and we're mm -hmm. getting that success uh, my passion and, and and kind of my my love are intersecting Wow well congratulations on that induction Thank that you. is the National NABO yep, NABO um, is a, a very powerful organization yeah. And um, in Philadelphia, that's a rather large chapter. Correct. So right. your leadership role will be very visible, and you'll have an impact on a lot of women right. and their clients and right. customers. Very humbled at the opportunity. Yeah. Right. So what are some of your objectives for, for your, as, as the leader? Yeah, so uh, number one is absolutely engagement mm -hmm. of our members. You know, a lot of times when people are new in business, they think about the organizations they should join, and NABO is one of them. We mm -hmm. get a ton of right. new members. Right. And one of the things that I'm passionate about is making sure that every member knows their place and really connects to this network of women okay. that are passionate about how we help one another and give mm -hmm. each other resources. So engagement is really top uh, of mind to me. Another part is actually diversity. Uh, you mm -hmm. know. When I first joined NABO uh, about six years ago, new right. in business, um, mm -hmm. I didn't see a lot of people like myself. Mm -hmm. I don't think that uh, they purposed that. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that, you know, some things take work. Right. And right. there was no one saying, I'm going to put my hand to the plow and work at this and mm -hmm. make sure that I go and recruit and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, bring in others and, mm -hmm. and make sure that we are the most diverse organization we can be. Philadelphia is a, a diverse region, right? Absolutely. Our greater Philadelphia area Absolutely. is very Great. diverse. Mm -hmm. And I said, if NABO is going to represent Philadelphia, we've got to represent Philadelphia. Right. Uh, and so uh, we have moved that needle. And, you know, I'm, I am actually the first woman of color to lead the organization in 16 years. So wow. that within itself uh, is exciting, mm -hmm. and uh, I also know that I have uh, uh, some responsibility with mm -hmm. that, right. uh, but it's exciting. Good. Well, count me in as a new member. Oh, 
So excited! Thank you. <laughs> awesome. I I will make that happen today. Oh, <laughs> At the end, I will of be all tweeting the... that. Okay, <laughs> good, good. I will make that happen. Awesome. So results. I, mm. I like to have people share their results. Mm -hmm. You know, particularly since you've you've shared um, why you're passionate about mm -hmm. your business. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, I, I kind of go back to a summer day almost like this, okay. almost seven years ago, sitting mm -hmm. in my home office. I remember my daughter coming in and saying, let's go to the beach. Okay. And I'm working. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm working. I can't go to the beach. <laughs> and she's like, what clients? <laughs> I don't see anybody sitting I don't see sitting anybody work. sitting here. I don't see any work. You know, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. um, and in that moment, uh, I remembered something that I committed to memory um, and that I shared it with her. Entrepreneurship is living now like no one else will so that you can live later like no one else can. Wow, repeat that. Repeat that because that's powerful. Entrepreneurship is living now like no one else will so that you can live later like no one else can. Mm. And so I explained to her that I needed to discipline myself now when there really weren't any clients <laughs> <laughs> so that at some point I could have those opportunities to say, Shh, you know, we yeah. can do that. We can take off. You know what? It's a you know Friday and it's mm -hmm. beautiful. And or if that day was a Wednesday, <laughs> it's beautiful. And we can just go. And so mm -hmm. now um, I look back at that discipline uh, mm -hmm. through the many decisions, firing myself and other things right. that I did. And now I am you know excited about when I sit in my Center City office with my mm -hmm. staff of five that we are mm -hmm. trying to figure out how long we can stay there mm -hmm. uh, because we're still growing and we're working on exciting projects like the Delegates Welcome Reception for the Democratic oh, National terrific. Convention. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank that you. That is high visibility. Right? Yes. Um, yes. I think back to those moments, and I'm excited and proud of our results. Um, I brought mm -hmm. with me, um, it's actually it was the first edition of one of uh, our industry's uh, premier um, associations that uh, publishes uh, things about our industry, Collaborate, and they did a diversity okay. article, and this was actually my first publication okay. uh, where Hold someone uh, asked me, about it. It, it was diverse. You hold it up a little mm -hmm. high mm -hmm. so they can get it. Great. Okay. Terrific. Okay. And then uh, I had the opportunity to give the last word. Oh, the last word. The last okay, word literally. on okay. diversity. <laughs> literally. Okay. Um, and so this was major for me um, mm -hmm. in that it was the first time someone asked, you know, my opinion. And mm -hmm. it that actually sparked, it was one of the results, sparked kind of my passion about diversity even in my industry. I didn't feel like mm -hmm. folks were talking about it enough. And it wasn't mm -hmm. just diversity in people. It's how we make people, uh, you know, how we're equitable mm -hmm. and how we're making folks understand that, they are, that there is inclusion of yes. everything from the beginning beginning to the end. It's not just, you know, are there enough people of color in the room or different, mm -hmm. you know, but it's also how, you know, what makes people feel comfortable, what what cultures are represented, mm -hmm. you know, so all of that. Um, and, and that was a beginning. And now, you know, we're five, six, seven publications in where I keep Ooh, getting excellent. asked in my opinion and I have uh -huh. the opportunity to speak passionately about it. So those are some results that I'm very proud of and looking forward to the future. Great. Well, I know several folks want to know how to get in touch with you. So how would they do that? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so you can reach me uh, at my website, www.perfection-events.com. That's perfection-events.com. We are on Twitter at at P Events, Inc. Uh, we're on Facebook, forward slash Perfection Events. We're on Instagram, forward mm -hmm. slash Perfection Events Philly. You can find us pretty much anywhere. If you Google us, you will find us. <laughs> Terrific. You know, I want to just really quickly ask you, what's the secret sauce when mm. someone hires you to really make sure that they get the event that they're expecting? Right. So yeah. the secret sauce for me is strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, that is our foundation. I came from corporate sitting in boardrooms talking to executives about their objectives. Mm -hmm. And so the first questions we ask are around the messaging and the objectives and what they are trying to accomplish. We always tie that to measurable results. How will we measure? How will we know we're successful? So that is in the first conversation. We can't talk about colors and themes until what? we talk about your business results. <laughs> Hey, you and I are totally <laughs> significant business and results. Absolutely. Masa, it's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. Oh, Thank you so much. So much <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you more since I'll be a member of NABO. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Looking forward great. to it. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, folks, there you have it. 
significant stories by significant entrepreneurs like Mazda T. Miles of Perfection Events Incorporated. And you can find her on the web at perfection-events.com. Thank you and join us for our next episode of Significant TV. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and I look forward to your participation.